is one nasty consequence of all this rain that we have been getting. KPIX 5 Susie Steimel shows us all the garbage that is now flowing into San Francisco Bay. Susie? Yeah, well, Ken, Caltrans told me today that last year its crews picked up enough trash that if you were to stack it into a three foot circle, it would reach 34 miles into the air. But still, even after picking up that much trash, Caltrans crews are being criticized for not getting enough. It's no secret the Bay Area has a trash problem, and when it rains, that trash pours into our waterways. It's great news that it rained this week, and it's also really bad news for the Bay because there's so much trash pouring off our roads into San Francisco Bay every time it rains. David Lewis is the executive director of Save the Bay. He's pointing a finger directly at Caltrans, saying it has failed to do its job. Trash is one of the biggest pollution problems in the Bay, and Caltrans is one of the biggest contributors to that problem. Caltrans has been out of compliance with the Clean Water Act since 2016. David says he wants to see fines. Yeah, Caltrans has just not made this a priority. It's simply not true. I mean, last year we spent $67 million statewide picking up litter. Bob Haas with Caltrans says they're overwhelmed by what he calls a war on garbage. They've added maintenance workers have plans to add nets in waterways to catch garbage. But at the end of the day, he's pointing the finger at the general public, saying change needs to come from you. Until the amount of litter we deal with starts diminishing, we can't promise anything. Bob says fines will only take more public money away from public projects. You could fix a lot of potholes with $67 million. Well, unless Caltrans does a better job, we're going to have more trash in the bay, fish and wildlife will suffer, and it'll smother the wetlands that we're trying to restore. So in addition to Caltrans, last year there were 76 municipalities that were about to be fined for the amount of trash that they were releasing into the bay. But since this past year, they have 68 of them have been able to come into compliance to avoid fines from the Water Board. Caltrans may still be facing some fines. The Water Board is expected to decide that in the coming weeks. We're live on Treasure Island. Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.